and welcome to another edition of Rabbi Case Cuts, Visual Blasts of Wisdom on the Weekly Torah Portion. We just concluded the little-known holiday of Lag Ba'omer, Lag standing for 33, the 33rd day of the Omer, the counting from Pesach to Shavuos. Lag Ba'omer is a holiday that is steeped in Kabbalistic and mystical traditions and undertones. I think it's important every so often for us to appreciate the incredible depths of Torah, the incredible depths of Kabbalistic wisdom, even if we can't understand precisely what it's talking about, to understand at least that those dimensions do exist. And I'd like to share just a very, very small window, a crack, an opening into that world. One of the reasons that Lag Ba'omer is steeped in Kabbalistic tradition is because the author of the Zohar, the Book of Splendor, the great Kabbalistic work, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, passed away on that day. And so this day has always been shrouded in mystery. In addition, we know that on this day, the students of Rabbi Akiva, 24,000 of them, had been perishing at an alarming, catastrophic rate since the Passover holiday. And the 33rd day of the Omer was when they stopped passing away. The reason that they passed away was because lo nagu kavod zebozeh, they didn't accord honor and respect to one another, these great sages. Therefore, our effort during this time, during this period, these 33 days leading up to Lagba Omer, is to develop our own sense of a good heart, of respect for other people. This is why, if you look at the numerical equivalent of the two of the 32 days that come before Lagba Omer, it's Lev Lamed Bet, which equals which means heart, 32, the 32 days leading up to Lag Omer are there to develop a heart. So we should learn to treat others properly. Comes Lag Omer and says as follows, Lag Omer was also the day that the man, the manna, began f- falling from heaven when the Jews traveled in the desert. The manna, as we know, itself was a miraculous food, a bread that screamed out, of the divine existence, of the divine embrace, every single morning that it fell. The, the mana was a very spiritual food, it was a deeply Kabbalistic food. If we take the 17 days that follow Lagba Omer, including Lagba Omer and up until the end of the counting of the Omer, the numerical equivalent there equals the word tov, goodness. We know that in Kabbalistic terms, goodness, tov, refers to the great light, that which is hidden away and presented to the righteous in the world to come. True good is that divine spark, that divine light that shines, that shines forth. On Lag Ba'omer and beyond, we're blessed and granted with that blast of light, that light that leads us up to the receiving of the Torah on Shavuot 17 days later. Our goal in the first part of the Omer, the first 32 days, is to develop a lave, to develop a heart. Subsequently, our our goal is to develop a lave tov, a good heart, meaning a heart which is infused with the divine light, represented by the mon, by the manna, and the divine embrace, the divine kiss that it reflected. These are very, very deep and profound, again, Kabbalistic or quasi-Kabbalistic ideas. But on a more practical level, let us all strive that during the first part of the Omer, which has just passed, we should at least realize that this period was designed and designated for building our lave. And if we haven't done it yet, we should do it now. And in these next 17 days, as we prepare for Shavuos, as we prepare to receive the Torah, as we do every year at this time, we should open ourselves to receiving this deep light, this deep spiritual energy that comes down into the world during this period, representing the world to come, representing the deeper dimensions of reality of existence. For if we can appreciate those realities, those dimensions of existence, we'll be truly prepared to receive the Torah, which is ultimately our window and our entry point into that greater existence, into that deeper and broader picture of all reality. Let us all appreciate the incredible depth within Torah, 
and understand that we're only scratching the surface. There's always more there to appreciate. There's always more there to imbibe. There's always more there to learn. Let us all continue to learn, deepen our appreciation and our understanding. The rest of this Omer period, on Shavuot, and many, many days and years beyond. Shabbat Shalom.